did you not see it before? I have a screenshot somewhere where these were all negative. Every single one of them. It was terrible. I don't even know how I got it so bad. Being British. Shut up. You're British. We don't like you. I just tried to trade them tea, bro, and they just weren't, they weren't having it. Yeah. So coming to make this video, I was really confused on how to do it. As I haven't got 2 million hours in Warframe and I ain't the greatest at the game. People who watch the stream would know. But here we are. This video is going to focus on the Fruit Ninja Master himself, Excalibur. The master with the sword and a master of making everyone wish they didn't have eyes. <laughs> Excalibur is one of three starting frames you get when you start the game and with my nearly 50 hours in him in my opinion he's the best to start with as he's easy as shit to learn and him being cool as shit anyway. His name comes from the legendary sort of King Arthur and the whole Warframe looks come from Hayden Tano from Dark Sector so you can't say he's not cool because he's pretty fucking cool. And don't get me started on his abilities. His first ability is called Slash Dash, which is literally you stashing through enemies and slicing them up with his sword. His next is Radial Bind, which makes you blind everyone in a radius for several seconds. And then next you have Radial Javelin, which is you literally launching javelins at people hard enough for them to stick to walls. And for his last, Exalted Blade is Excalibur's ultimate ability, if you will, letting you summon a sort of pure light, making you become the Michelin Star Chef you've always wanted to be. As I said, cool as shit, easy to learn. Now I'm going to show you my time with Excalibur and everything I just said about him isn't going to happen because I suck ass at the game. So first order of business is making a build for Excalibur and I'm going to try and go for something that's somewhat basic because I want this to appeal to newer people so that maybe they can take something from it. So we're going to go for a very beginner sort of build and then I'll scale it up when we get to the higher levels especially when we get the steel path newer people will find out what that is soon enough so for my personal play style and the build I want to try and go for is to try and maximize radial blind and exalted blade and I want to also take advantage of his passive which deals 10% more damage and attack 10% quicker when wielding swords so this is the sword we're going with it's the very beginner sword you get I'm not upon any two primaries on so i don't have the itching to use them so we're literally using excal and the sword the first order of business is getting a build done here so oh god right give me a second i'll cook something up did i jump scare you yeah i bet i did you coward so this is what i've gone with for people that actually know modding i'm not good at modding at all i'm learning just as much as everybody else when they're watching this video i've gone with stretch and auger reach for the ability range because obviously i want to make the most with radial blind and also there's a blind with exalted blade and then i added flow for the extra energy equilibrium if i pick up a health pickup it'll give me energy some extra health and some shield capacity and also energy siphon which is an aura which gives us energy per second i didn't use any arcanes because new people won't have any good arcanes we're sticking with the sword as i said and now with exalted blade this is what i'm gonna leave it as all of these are pretty easy to get they're random drops gladius might is from bounties on cetus the earth open world oh i forgot this is what i'm using for the sword it's just melee elementalist which is a normal drop pressure point and rendering strike rendering strike you get from nightmare missions they add like extra modifiers on the certain missions so it's easy to get again uh we're making most of the slash here because slash is pretty good everybody loves slash so it gives us extra slash we've got some damage and then we've got more damage dealt by slash so first we're going to try him in e prime because this is the first mission you'll do in the game you won't have nearly as many upgrades as i do it's going to be sort of the same e this is going to be easy to go through it's level ones like Come on. Blind. There we go. The sword's pretty good. These are level ones, mine, but... Oops! Radio blind is actually crazy. Like, it's so good. There we go. Easy as that. Obviously, this, these are, yeah, again, like I said, level one. So that was going to be easy no matter what. So with that mode right there, that was just exterminator. That is literally just a kill one. 
that is literally just killing. This time we're going to try a spy mission. It completely throws out what Excalibur is able to do because unlike some other frames, he can't go invisible. He can't hide from the enemies at all. He's going to be seen constantly and with all the cameras, the lasers and stuff, you're not going to be able to just walk through them. You're going to have to dodge them. Um, and it, it's pretty simple, but for newer players, I think it could be a little bit harder, but we're going to try it. Okay, here we go. We got three objectives. I'm going to try and do them without getting spotted. The Arsord is doing quick work of those guys as well so it's still holding up blind team over here she's got some good range oh what is that is that a fish trying to attack me try not to get spotted by these guys i'm pretty sure this one is up i think you have to drop him from the roof right by it hop in and you hack i've got ciphers so i'm gonna skip it but you probably won't have those you should probably get them there's one down we got second one we'll try our best to not get spotted that electric thing is shooting me we just need to avoid this guy i could just kill him so we're gonna go all the way around so you can open platforms i think by there at that console but we're not gonna do that we're just gonna do this and data look at that and a door opens here so we can leave quicker here we are the third one sensor bar here again we're just gonna destroy that and then there is the little drone by there hop down there we go. All three done. Just like that. Now, if I get out, it will probably be the first spy mission I've ever done without getting spotted. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we're going to do Helen on Saturn now because it's higher level. I think it's about 10 levels higher. And it's also a defense. Defense is obviously you defend a point. And you'll learn to hate all this like I do, because he interrupts me. But yeah, again, this completely flips Excalibur on his head, because he's not a defensive frame. He is a frame that you'll run around and kill everything, which in a way you can do this, but you don't maximize defense, really. Not about maximize, I'm not going to maximize this thing anyway, because I have a sword. You're going to have actual guns, so... And I think with radial blind blinding the enemies, it does a little bit more damage. completely off topic but i'm trying to play this game with my swollen thumb and it is not good exalted blade is just so fun to use it is so fun And different with these guys here, these Xmases, the powered enemies, they won't be affected by your abilities until you take their little overguard shield off. I'm just gonna get my ass handed to me here. So now he has got a shield, now he's affected by him. That is a defense done. I don't really like defense, but with Xcal, it was pretty easy. There's not just five waves like I did. You can go up to 20 waves. You can go even further than 20 waves, but I ain't gonna do that. Scream for boobies. It says scream for boobies. So what's the deal yeah? So for about five minutes of looking, I think this is the highest level mission we're gonna get. Level 40 to 45. This is in the void. It's late into the star chart. So new players, you won't have this for a while. And you'll be able to probably have a build like I do by this time, I think. And we're gonna do this and see how our build holds up. I think it should be fine. I think the ability is gonna be fine. Our exalted blade is gonna be fine. And our sword is going to be fine. That's in theory. Okay, our sword on base level... It's not great. It's taken a lot of hits to kill these guys. But at this level, I should expect to be doing pretty bad. Do radial blind and see how much we do. Okay, so radial blind ups our damage quite significantly. I'll be able to make quick work of these guys with radial blind. Radial blind again. So radial blind is going to help you if you're struggling with damage outputs. It ups it a lot, and that's going to be with any weapon, not just a sword. Okay, I may lose the interception, but that's not why we're here. But this mission type, I'm doing pretty shit in it right now, but this mission type is pretty easy. It's just you capture points, you defend them from the enemies taking them. It's pretty easy. I was too busy focusing on explaining stuff, so I did really shit in it. Ooh, Argon Crystals. They all become really important at some point as well. And fucking annoying. That's the normal star chart. That is, that's from the beginning of Earth here to the void here. But then you have something called Steel Path, which essentially, it sucks. This build will not survive in it. I would show you that. It will be me getting pummeled for three minutes. So this is where 
I'm gonna try and put the knowledge that I know into play and change this build with the exact same thing, Exalted Blade, Sword, and Excal. If all this keeps speaking over me, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. It's not gonna change, except for how it's modded. So, I should be back in nine hours when I figure out how to mod. Oh, and Amelia, you can always have me. Well, hey, I didn't know the knights had hot cat girls too. Actually, I'm a boy. No, you're fucking not. No, really, I'm a- I said, no, you're fucking not. Okay, after a a good, a good, like, two hours it felt like. I think I've got what I wanted. I couldn't use some stuff because I literally don't have them, which would have made the build a hell of a lot better. This is what I came up with. I will also put the two augment mods that I wanted on screen now as so you know which ones I was going to use. So this is what I landed on. I went for strength and a little bit of range, but I think this is pretty good. I also went with steel charge for the more melee damage. Molt augmented, which is an arcane. When this is matte, that'll give us 60% more strength. Arcane energized for more energy. Then we move on to the sword. This is why I landed on on. There was a few things that I missed out was blood rush and weeping strike or weeping something Also, I could have had a better stance as well for exalted blade. I went for this yet again I wanted some things and I didn't have them, but this is what I landed on again I think I did pretty good with everything So now we're gonna take this into steel path and see how well my modding knowledge goes I really hope this does okay because I'm gonna be clowned by chat by everyone for like all my life so here we go. We're going to do E Prime again, which if you remember, this was level 1 to 3. Now it's level 101 to 103. So we're going to see how well we do. Okay, our sword is in... Sword's doing okay. I say okay because it's not doing super good. Let's just say that much. It's not doing great. Yeah, I'm going to lead you away. Please give me energy. You did. Beast. Right, now we're going to use Exalted Blade. Okay, it ran out. It ran out. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is me or what. No, my life is over. The stance is sort of ass as well. I'm not going to lie. I hate... Don't like this stance. My God, bro. Oh, my God. As you can see, Excalibur doesn't do well in Steel Path. So with the verdict being, for a new player, Excalibur is really, really good. But as soon as you get into later game, I find it's really hard to try and mod him to be good. You have to put a lot of work into him. It's going to take a lot of resources. And I don't think it's worth it when there's plenty of other frames at this point, which you would have that would do a lot better than him. Would I recommend him for a new player? 100%. If you want Excalibur, and if you don't pick him for your first choice for the game, I would say pick him up anyway. Because going through the start shot you'll be fine 100 percent obviously i was using shitty weapons to make it more about his abilities and about him not about the weapons that i'm using because he's not a weapons platform and what i mean by that is just using the weapons that i have and not him if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'm going to be doing all of the warframes starting with vault and magnex i'm going to do the first three that you pick so if you want to see that make sure to leave a like as well but other than that guys it's been me